Hello again, it's Priscilla Patzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard with a strong desire to be as willful and have as much fun as possible with my favorite colors and some black enamel, maybe some white enamel and definitely some pink enamel because I can, the name of my book on the Amazon link right next to my second book on the, on the Amazon link called uh, Unlimited Possibilities. And I'm not thinking about it too much. I'm just going for what pleases me right now. And that's the way this is going to roll. You watch. I'll want to I'll want to save it. I don't know if I'm going to put whoa. Okay, let go. <laughs> out of one of those bottle tops that are stuck on that I always need to cut off and I didn't do yet. Just tried to grab a hold of my shirt. All right, so far, I'm still having fun. <laughs> and I'm going to try and be as willful as possible. And just basically, oh look, I've got paint that I can't get out. Never mind. All right, maybe I can. Maybe I can't. <laughs> I think I cannot. I think I will just give up. There really wasn't enough left in there anyway, but it did give me some ideas. And I like these two. Actually, I like all of the color shifting folk art greens together. Really, a whole lot. They make me happy. I don't know why. And I never use enough red, so I'm going to try and get myself to use some red. Well, that's magenta, so that's not really, that's not what I had in mind. But this is, I don't even know what color this is. I suspect it's an Anita's Metallic. And I've got some pretty colors there, but I'm not done yet. And I am a lot nervous about making mud because because everybody's it's always an upper there's always an opportunity to make mud. That was not shaken. And I want to use some darker colors in there, even though it could be the black. And I want a bunch more white in there, and I haven't used nearly enough pink, but I do have that that pink enamel, and I think that is a um, iridescent. Masterminds used to make plaid. Is hopefully cross your fingers, everybody. Hopefully coming out with a rebranding of uh, it was called Art Minds. That's right. All right, so all that's pretty cool. Now it's time to find, and why didn't I start with, there it is. There is the black satin. Well, you know what I'm going to do? Ha! First, I'm going to put a whole bunch of white in here and see what we can tip. And soon, someday soon, I'm going to be doing something with the spoons. Do I have enough orange? I'm not sure I ever have enough orange. But it takes over, so it makes me nervous every time. And I don't think I have enough yellow to do what I'm planning on doing. So let's just grab the edge catcher I've got handy that I have not used today. That's just barely long enough. All right, I've got a, I've got a bigger one. Let's put the little one on the turntable start everything flowing wherever it wants to go. I'd at least be looking, don't you think? <laughs> Makes me want to put the basting brush in there and see what happens. This is going to be an interesting swipe. I thought about doing this swipe with um, t-shirt but I just didn't get that 
didn't get that far. Who knows what's going to happen? I might love this. And it might be just perfect to put the basting brush in. Let's go back and see what we might want wherever we might want it. And continue... Well, that wasn't what I wanted. Continue on where I left off. Got to remember that that's the enamel. I didn't put any of the black in yet. And there's probably no reason to, but just on the off chance that I might decide that that's a cool thing to do. At least I know it is where it is and we can always swipe it. I don't know why I ever put bottles right down on my edge catchers because I need my edge catcher to be free. And I've been so far I've been going back and forth. tendency is to want to fill in some places. I'm not going to clean off the edge catcher. I am going to let everything roll down. Maybe. Yeah, who knows what's going to happen to this. I could go through with my finger and fill in all the little gaps. I'm glad I put that white in there so I have some negative space. And I'm not unhappy to put the black in either. I am going to rock the edge of this edge catcher and I'm going to move it down on the on the sheet so I actually cover most of that edge. I'm having kind of good time. This is um this is supremely accidental art for sure. Makes me want to go ahead and do what I did again. and see if there's anything else that is calling me to a certain area. Go ahead and add some more white to anything that I see. I wish I could just have a little drop, please, instead of a huge one. That's the Anita's metallic. I like all those spaces. They probably won't be there when I'm done. But so far, I'm just enjoying the process. It's definitely very accidental art, but also very cool. So let's go back the wrong way with that. Put the edge catcher back down again. We've got a pretty edge catcher going on. So we'll go the wrong way first. Put some more paint. I will take the paint on the edge catcher and um, scoop it off with my Oxo omelet turning spatula. Hi Oxo, I'm your best friend. Um, good grips. I've never done this before. <laughs> That's kind of a rare occurrence. And we're still not to the place where we want to give up the fun that we're having. And we could still swipe because those enamels are in there. So where would you put it? Oh, that's so cool. Let's just grab a little bit at a time. Put it wherever it wants to go. My bottles are a little bit in the way. It's kind of fortunate it's not muddy. It's a little orangey though, for sure. What else? What else? I'm being a little lackadaisical about all this. I suppose I could stick a straw. <laughs> I could use a straw. <laughs> where, where, where are you going to stick that straw? <laughs> Excuse me. It's getting late. The sun is almost down. I'm still out here playing with paint. Thank you so much for not yelling at me for not, there not being enough light. I'm sticking my fingers in the artwork now. I like those little gaps. They're so cool. I should just, one day I should just say, to heck with it. I don't need primer on the canvas, on top of primer on the canvas. And if I like little spaces, I should allow them to be what they are. It's 
steal some black. I'm going to put some white in there and move it around. Tap over my edge. Could have saved a little more paint because my edges need a little coverage. But I'm not wasting any paint because it all seemed to be it all seems to be doing whatever it wants to do in a in a very nice way, actually. Just gonna keep looking for spaces. There's a lot of trust in this process for me. I trust the universe knows what it's doing when it when it creates beautiful accidents in nature. I figure that's just the natural course of things and maybe my thought process helps provoke some of that in my artwork when it works. Which it does more often than not, actually. In my opinion. Someone will disagree with me. <laughs> I'm sure someone will disagree with me. So I am mostly covered and now I have to decide what to do. And I have five minutes left. So I could look at things. I don't like that. <laughs> Why don't I just take the large ball chain and cautiously. You know, there's not really that much I want to do in here <laughs> to change things up that much. It's been a while since I did anything with ball chain though, and I really do like working with it. Just gonna try and leave some of the spontaneous accidental aspect. And combine it with my desire to actually create Maybe by looking for any little gaps. I want to see right now what chain, this kind of chain at least, and the satin enamels will do together. I'm not sure the black that I had in there was beneficial. And I like my gold. Let's do a spin. Let's do some drags and spins. I'll do a nice wide one. I hope I can get away with it. I kind of want some gold. I don't see any. that down and find my gold. Yes, I know it was lovely the way it was, but you have to go along with me. You just have to let me have my way because I'm the one painting over here. No, it's completely wild. It's kind of crazy. I love the patterns that dragging things leaves behind. And I see those spaces. Come here, spaces. So it's just letting the paint and nature and gravity all have its way. And then working with what, whatever you get. That's my theory. And right at the moment, it seems to be working for me. But I think I will be filling in little spaces for a while. So my inclination is to go ahead and torch and see if there's anything that happens when we torch, because we don't know that yet. I like changing up the direction of the patterns inside this. This is pretty wild. 
I gotta say, it's extremely wild and it makes me want to put some of that right there. And don't ask me why, but it called to me and said, put me here. And then waggled the skewer. <laughs> My muse is having a good time with me today. Do I want something darker? De depth? Kind of do. It'd be nice if this was done in one. So much for the swipe, you know? But never mind. I do have some cells popping, and I am getting closer to what I had in mind, which I don't really know what it was anyway. Is that black or Prussian blue? I think it's Prussian blue, and I have just enough. Our dogs are hunting rabbit. I hope they never catch one either, because I love rabbits. <laughs> Probably only because I don't have a garden now. All right, so that's pretty cool, and it's time to do a couple more things and call it good. And that's one of them. And I've got two minutes left to tell you guys, shop my Amazon link. It's at no idea cost to you, and it helps me out. Please watch the videos longer. It's the one thing the YouTube algorithm knows that will... It's the one thing that affects the YouTube algorithm and will might help give me better placement on YouTube. I actually really like this. This is pretty bizarre, I, I admit. But I'm going to torch to release the bubbles in the paint. Look for my paint pouring recipe underneath the video. And I use the same paint pouring recipe for acrylic enamels that I do for any other acrylics. There are 12 or 13 new lists of genres separating my paintings. This one will be an abstract. right there. Don't ask me why. Torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. If I see a little spot, I'm going to stick my finger in it. For the most part, we got some wild colors and this was a really fun piece to do. Thank you guys for contributing to keep me painting all this time. I really appreciate it and if you want to continue to do so, you will be included if you do so from $10 or more on uh, into the monthly drawing where you can and you can find the monthly drawing prizes on the end screens in the video the exhibition video I was compelled to do that I could not stop myself in any case give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind Look under the video for the clothing. That's Teespring clothing with my all over print t-shirts and all over print leggings on it and uh, other cool stuff as well. So this is just too much fun. Maybe it's psychedelic and who cares? And I really could have stuck a basting brush in here and been pretty happy, but um, I think I did a happy, a compromise. I took what we had and I got to do some things that made me happy too. I just had to break up that one little spot. I got a few spirals and a few waves. I love you guys. There's 80, over 85,000 of you. We're slowly moving toward 86,000 of you. It might only take till next December 2020, but whatever. I'm not worried about it. I'm here for you guys, and I love your comments. You keep my morale up while YouTube is not a lucrative venture anymore, and uh, I appreciate your support like you wouldn't believe. And if you have comment, excuse me, if you have questions, you're welcome to ask me. And I will get back to you as soon as I can. What else? What else is, what else? I have, uh, I told you about the playlist. Oh, not, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter underneath the, re on underneath the video. And uh, if your notifications are turned off, you might want to turn them back on. They get turned off pretty frequently. But um, my husband's used to be turned off and they've been on for a while now. Thank you, YouTube, for fixing that. <laughs> I really appreciate it. It'd be nice if everybody, if it'd be nice if more than 0.0, .0 
two percent of my subscribers ever got to be notified of my uh, of my videos. I'm going to probably be touching my edges up for a few minutes.